Hello YouTube, PsychoFox here again with my PCW8256. Now I've just actually been using the printer for the first time. It's got a printer ribbon in it from the 1990s. Uh, all I did was lift that up and using that little uh, little knob there you just can feed the roll of the print ribbon through so I've got past the obviously the dried out bit that was uh, exposed to the air and it actually surprisingly still prints so I'll give you a look at the printer in action so first of all let's turn the computer on and there's the familiar green screen now I'm using a copy disk See, it's just got working system loco script on it because what you're meant to do is the original loco script disk and CPM disk I showed you in my review video my last video that's the master disk and you're meant to make a copy of that using a program that's built into the CPM disk called disk kit so you make a copy such as this and this is your working system or start of day disk just if, if it becomes corrupted you've always got the original master so let's put in this copy now this came with um, came with a computer so the printer just sparked into life there so there's a few um, a few files on this that are actually saved by the last last owner of the of the discs. So uh, let's try not to breach any data protection issues. Which one should we go for? There was one that was on about noise noise or something. So let's do E for edit document. And then so I'll just crop off the name at the top. That's got the name of the person who uh, sold me the computer. So I'll leave that off. Something about noise disturbances. Now this is dated 29th of June 97. So that sort of gives you sort of a uh, an idea of when this computer was last used. It's got a file in it that's saved from 99. Now I used my PCW up until 2000. So that's about when they were sort of the disk drive belts were breaking and people just gave up on them. So right, let's back up a bit here yeah, so we don't give away this guy's address. I can't do this. Right, so if I want to print this now got to put some print, uh, paper in. I've already had a little test go on this. Put some paper in. Then you've got to wind it through by hand using this roller. You've got the desired amount. You put the bail bar back using this little thing here. Oh, I've done that wrong because it's gone from the same side. Right, wind it through again. Ah, oh, shite. Right. I did printer ribbons, uh, printer ribbons come out. Right, let's wind it through. Put the bail bar down. I've got to reinsert the printer ribbon. I tell you, it ain't easy, is it? Eh? Right. So this is the that's the printer ribbon. You just turn that to make sure it's tight. You got to get that under the print head. Like so. Okay, right. Right, so we've got our, um,
we've got our uh, document here. So, if you want to print, we press exit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete delete the address off just so I can actually show you what I'm doing right here we are so here's the page so what we do is we press exit we want to save and print and then press enter so it scans down the page and it started printing. It's quite noisy as you can hear, dot matrix printer. So amazingly we're still actually getting some we're still actually getting some ink off it after all these years. There we've got some noise complaint about a club in Barry Island from the 1990s. Hot off the press. Now this sound takes me back, it really does, to high school days. Printing out essays I'd written. I think you could make it um, darker by doing um, double strike printing. You could also do a draft copy, which is just uh, the print head will just go over it once and give you quite a light sort of copy. But I don't know if you can see, it's it's perfectly legible. There we go. Right there, the Savoy Club. Mr. Campbell is pissed off at you for waking him up at four in the morning. Thanks for watching.